What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Red, back at it again with another video. Like, y'all, it's been so long since I've just sat down and talked to y'all. Like, so much, <laughs> so much has been going on. I've been super duper busy. Like, I'm still super duper busy. Like, I wish I could just like explain all the stuff that I have to do y'all but like i literally can't like it's just so much going on like and like that's what that's why i wanted to sit down and like talk to y'all like really quickly like this isn't gonna be no long overdrawn video or nothing like that like i just want to let y'all know give y'all update about what's going on whatever i for the people that do not know um hey y'all my name is red i am a self-taught proclaimed whatever entrepreneur small business beauty store owner whatever like you want to call it i currently sell lip gloss lip oils eyelashes um and other beauty products um i'm working on a lot of other things um but yeah that's basically what i do right like cool so that's what i do that's how people know me people also know me from my other slightly small business raise university where i help other small businesses start their businesses and answer common questions that they have as well no matter um what field or what brand you are I also do that um for everyone that's been following me you guys know that god is my number one i put him in front of everything that i do he is the reason why i'm doing the things that i do he's the one that shows me and tells me the things that i do etc cetera, etc cetera. like i'm very appreciative for everything that he's done for me and what he continues to do um i'm very blessed to be in this position to do what i'm doing you know all of that like i'm very grateful and sometimes it can get slightly overwhelming right so for the people that do not know um, I am not a full-time entrepreneur. Like, this is not my full-time job. This is not the job that pays my bills right now. I actually have a nine to five day job that's actually my career. Like, it's not a job I hate. It's actually a job that I thought I was gonna be doing for 20 years. Um, I'm actually a technology consultant by day and a business consultant entrepreneur by night, which is crazy. Sorry about that. I hope that is not a group chat. Um, Cause that's going to, um, definitely distract me if it is let me just mute my laptop okay no okay great okay sorry y'all <laughs> so um so yeah so like i'm very busy 8 to 4 30 every single day and then right after that i'm either working out if i didn't already do that in the morning doing business stuff whatever that is for the day whole bunch of stuff whatever like the past all of august was my i came back so i took july off right took july off restocked in august cool things went great was i was starting to gather stuff for like my new products and things like that and things were going well, but I was doing more stuff with Rez University at the time too. I was doing social media audits and all this and that. Things were great, but I just kept piling so much on my plate and I wasn't getting it off fast enough. So I got to a point where I went to go see my therapist and I was like, bro, I just feel like I'm not overwhelmed yet, but I know I'm getting there if I don't like put a pause on everything that's going on like I need to like pause and like sit back to see what I need to do what I need to get out the way like whatever like I'm just so behind on so many things you guys are gonna see all the things like within these next two weeks on YouTube how much stuff I had to do like because literally majority of it is YouTube videos like it's wild right so she's like you know take a break you know do all that whatever whatever so I'm like okay cool I'm gonna take a breather I'm gonna take a break whatever so I decided to like take a breath I was like I would take like two weeks off whatever whatever and then the lord was like no we're really taking a break we're going on like low-key on like a sabbatical of like selling products and services like we're not coming back until we have like certain stuff together etc cetera, etc cetera, right so i decided to really take an actual break now i don't know 
when I'm coming back with products, right? Because I'm still waiting on inventory to come in. I'm waiting on um, materials to come in, shipping supplies, products, good everything. Right? I'm waiting on so much. So it's like, I honestly don't know when I'm coming back. Um, like, of course, it's going to be before the end of the year, obviously. But it's like last week, I was like, if I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't going to be no, oh, okay, da, 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 whatever, like. Like I said, this isn't my full-time job. I'm not worried about this money to like pay my bills or nothing like that. Like I I can afford to take these breaks right now and like work on restocking, rebranding, doing my website, relaxing, whatever. I can afford to do that because I still work my full-time job. So like I know some people are like, oh, don't you create a business so you don't have to work for yourself, work for someone else, blah, blah, blah. That's not really my story right now. I have a side business. I have my business that's growing or whatever because that's what I'm supposed to be doing, not to get rid of my day job. I just want to make that very clear because a lot of people like to um, comment on the videos and ask these questions, whatever. That's not my case. I'm not, I didn't create a business so I didn't work for someone else. I didn't have a problem working my job. I don't have a problem working my job now or whatever. Like, am I am going to be a full-time entrepreneur one day? Yes, because that's what the Lord told me. But whether that's in a year, five or 10, I don't care. I'm only 25, okay? Like, I'm still so, so young. Like, I don't care when that is, whatever. As of right now, I'm stewarding over everything he's given me, which is my career and my business is cool. So now I'm trying to figure out how to actually create a schedule to where I'm not overwhelmed. But until then, I have to take a break. So... Oh, y'all, during this time of me taking a break and catching up on work or whatever, I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to get my body together. I've been trying to work out every day. Like, I actually just, just got done working out. I've taken my shower. Um, and I'm about to actually get in the bed because your girl is tired because I got a whole nother day tomorrow. But, like, I've been trying to get my body together. I've been trying to eat right, eating three times a day, drinking my water, which I've done really bad on today. So let me go ahead and drink some water. Yeah, I gotta get me some, I need some type of timer or something all day. I'm really bad on my water. And I've also been trying to get my skin together, like, because if I would've shown y'all pictures from like a few years ago, even just earlier this year, stuff just wasn't like, even and stuff like it's getting better and it's a lot of reasons why it's getting better and one thing of why my skin is getting better i actually created my own products on mixeasy.com so mix easy is a place to where you can go and get skin and hair products i decided to um get the face mask and the face scrub right because I be having like my face it used to be oily but like now it's dry i don't know when i made that transition in my adult life but i be needing to like scrub and exfoliate like on my skin so i decided to get the scrub right so i got the scrub and when you create your own products like the ones that say custom you're able to go in choose what type of skin you have whether it's combination oily or dry you get to choose the type of oils and um things that you want in your skin so like they have um different things that help with like you want your skin to be tighter and less oily and things like that you're able to go to like the lemongrass and the lavender and the pumpkin seed whatever they have so many different options on there i can't even fully remember i'm gonna make sure i put it on the screen and show you guys exactly how you can go and choose what you did and show you guys exactly what i did once you choose all of the ingredients that you want inside of your product, then you choose like the scent that you want. So of course they have like honey and um, some type of like earthy tone, but they had this one, I think it was called like sunset. I chose that one cause it looked like it had, it was like somewhat fruity. And I really like my skincare products, like my hair products to smell like fruity and girly like i don't know i just like that so i chose that scent and then you get to choose your name and they'll put it they'll print it on the bottle for you um so i decided to go ahead and do red's mask because um it's my mask and the one with my scrub i went ahead and did red scrub put that on there girl yes 
I was like, okay, this is lit. I don't know I can put my name on it. So like that was lit, whatever, right? Cool. So I like to do this at night, right? So I, um, of course, like got my bonnet on, got my scarf on. Y'all already know how it is when we getting ready to go to bed, ready to go to bed, right? So I'll go ahead and use my scrub first. I don't have my exfoliation um, brush or uh, one of those the smaller ones that you get from like Dollar Tree, it comes like two in a pack. I could not find it anywhere. I gotta go back to Dollar Tree. I would normally use that with this um, scrub, but couldn't find it. But I went ahead and put some water on my face, went ahead and, um, cause I had already took a shower. So my face was already somewhat hydrated. Um, but I didn't use any type of facial wash or whatever. I just went ahead and used both these products because they both are very moisturizing. So I used the scrub, went ahead and rubbed it's all of my face, and especially my problem areas, which is right now for me is my chin and somewhat on my cheeks just a little bit. Um, so I went ahead and scrubbed, did that for about 60 seconds. Then I went ahead and rinsed off with just water and dabbed my face. Never wipe off your face when y'all are washing your face, whether it, you're using a face wash, some type of scrub, always blot and dab the product and the water off your face. It just helps with like less wrinkles, like when we get older and stuff like that, right? So then I decided to, after that, use my mask and it's actually like a moisturizing mask cream. So it's very, very, thickly thin <laughs> or thinly thick if you want to say like i really love the texture of it um it's not too heavy on my skin i can definitely go to sleep with it i can definitely wake up and wear it all day it was really nice they both smell really really good and i just really liked both of them if you guys are interested in looking up mix easy you can go ahead and go to mixeasy.com and your girl got a code for you use code Dakira, which is my government name. If y'all don't know, my mama didn't name me Red, she named me Dakira. It's D A K I R A. Use it at checkout and you can get 15% off your entire order. So I use these products when I'm trying to just like relax and everything like that. Like, you know, you guys having you guys, you guys have your body scrubs and your body butters, and you just be wanting to like get out the shower and take care of yourself, whatever. I'm learning right now to take care of myself. In between all of these products and this lip gloss and this other stuff I'm trying to make, it's just so stressful. And this is the first time, like I think in my adult life, really low key my entire life, cause I never really cared about it when I was in high school either or college, I'm taking care of my skin. Like I'm really trying to take care of my body in and out now. So once I get older, once I get married, when I have children and I'm like 70, I look good. I look better than what I do now because I already look good, but you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm trying to do that now. And like Mix Easy has really helped me get into that routine and helped me learn like what type of products I like, I don't like, you know, things like that. It's really helped me, you know. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and use that code. Um, get 15% off of your order. I just want y'all to also know that it's okay to take a break. It's okay to be overwhelmed. It's okay to not be okay. If you're not okay, if this is overwhelming, if your business is too much, it's okay to stop. No one's making you do anything. No one's telling you to do anything. You're not obligated to do nothing for nobody, okay? Take your breather, take your break, do what you gotta do, go handle your business and come back stronger. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, I realized back in July I needed to do that and now, that it's September, only two months later, I'm like, bro, I gotta figure out some type of schedule or whatever because I was doing good and then I fell back into like doing this and doing that and too much and whatever. I'm not doing that no more. Like this is gonna be the last time to where I feel stressed and overwhelmed. Mini breaks is cool, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it got to the point where I had to take a month, maybe more off. And that's cool too, but I'm not trying to get to the point where I have to take this long off because I got so stressed out. It's okay to sit down. The Lord even rested on the seventh day, shouty. Like, it's okay. No one is gonna be upset at us, all right? So I just wanted y'all to know that, give y'all a quick video of how to just like, know that it's okay. I'm okay, you okay, we okay, we're okay. Like, 
it's good and you're gonna be good i promise you and if you feel like it's something more than that it's okay to get professional help it's okay to go talk to someone like i said i have a therapist and a psychiatrist your girl need help i take medicine all of that like i take medicine to help me focus because my brain just be so wild and crazy because of all this business stuff this stuff didn't happen until i started my business and stuff started blowing up like it's okay to get help and to sit back and to take care of yourself and start over i promise you it is so i just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that show y'all my face and let y'all know that your girl got buku videos coming up um i'm trying to still do so much for y'all um and yeah that's it so i love y'all so so much i miss y'all so much i love you but you know who love you more <laughs> jc that was lame that was lame um i love you but god loves you more and i will see y'all in the next video peace Oh, 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 oh,